What's going down? It's your boy King Spence, and today we're talking about three Tulsa artists that need to be on your radar. You know what time it is. Today we're talking about three artists that's on my radar, so I'm going to share my GPS with y'all so y'all see who I've been watching. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just so y'all know who up next out of the town. So if you don't know, now you know. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is the best city on the state, on the planet Earth, and I'm going to rep for mine. So I want y'all to tune in, kick back, relax, kick up your feet. Get your popcorn and check out these three artists that I'm about to be plugging you guys into. So, the very first artist that needs to be on your radar, if he isn't already, is Phil Sosa. In my opinion, I would say Phil Sosa is the most bubbling artist in the city of Tulsa and arguably, arguably, in the state of Oklahoma. As long as he keep the hits coming and stay consistent, I have no doubt in my mind that he will be the next big thing to come out of the state of Oklahoma. I spoke about Phil Sosa before on some of my previous episodes, but I think it's important to speak about him again if we're gonna keep this new conversation going. Now, if I had to compare Phil Sosa to an artist, I really wouldn't be able to compare him to one because I don't feel like my musical palette is wide enough, so I would have to put him in a league of his own. But if I had to describe the type of content that he gonna discuss in his music, it is gonna be like, street drill trap you know money gangster type music of all the artists that i've been paying attention to i would say that he is amongst the most consistent continuously dropping high quality music videos and tons of projects on apple music spotify youtube for all of his fans to stream if i could only say one song that i think you guys should go listen to it's kind of tricky because he got that record lotto stud that did a quarter million on youtube but i'm gonna go with something a little bit more recent and i'm gonna tell y'all if rap don't work that is a crazy record i highly suggest y'all go check it out or even his new project but that's the first artist that i believe should be on everybody's radar phil sosa now the second artist is somebody that's relatively new to me i've just got hit to this guy and i can say that his music speaks for itself i don't know but I do believe that if this young guy stays consistent and continues to drop these dope records and these dope music videos, he could be the next guy out. He goes by the name of Say So The P. And bruh, nice. I've actually sat up there and binge watched a lot of his videos just to listen to his music and get a feel for his sound. And I can say that I'm mostly impressed. Bro got his own flavors. He can switch it up in so many styles. He definitely give me that hometown Tulsa feel. The type of content he gonna discuss in his records is gonna be like that street music, that gangster music. But mostly, I love the Tulsa references in his music. If I could only tell y'all one song by Say So to Peter go listen to, it'd be too difficult. Cool. You really gotta binge his music. I'm gonna give y'all three records that I really enjoy that I think y'all should go check out and make sure y'all tell them that King Spence sent you. The first one is called Loose. Bro was spitting on that mug. It was kind of giving me chills the first time I heard it because I saw he was from Tulsa and you could just kind of feel the potential listening to the music. The second record is called Bagging. Go check that out and let me know what y'all think. And the last one is more of a party kind of vibe, kind of help you get loose. It's called Do That Though. Go check those records out. Let them know King Spence sent you. And the last and final artist that I want to expose you guys to is one that's very near and dear to my heart. And it's a late announcement, but it's definitely worthy. This is a much loved and respected and appreciated artist in the Tulsa community and over the United States. A brief moment of silence for Tulsa's very own Fociano. Fociano, aka The Mac, was one of the most unique artists to come out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was a supreme trendsetter and one of the most charismatic personalities to ever touch the town. When you listen to Fociano's music, you'll get a taste of what it feels like to be a player, to have a thing for the lady, to travel, to be a hustler, having money. These are the type of things that Fociano loved to discuss in his records. I got so many valuable memories that I could share with y'all, but I'm gonna say those for the next episode. But shout out to the Mary Fly Mac Fociano Latin. If you wanna get a nice taste of what he represented when he rapped on his songs, go check out his song called Life of the Mac and Like AI. Those are two of my favorites. But hey y'all, those are my three artists that I think everybody should have on their radar. Make sure y'all go check them out and tell them King Spence sent you. I'll see y'all next time on the next episode. If y'all liking the content, make sure y'all leaving likes, comments, subscribing, share it with your peoples, and let me know what y'all think. Progression on me, progression on three.